Module 2 of the AMPAC TAP system training program will highlight tool maintenance. AMPAC tools are designed to provide years of safe, reliable operation. Like all mechanical equipment, AMPAC tools require regular inspection and maintenance to extend the life and reliability of the tool. Careful performance of daily and weekly servicing is, however, the responsibility of the user. The following preventive maintenance items should be checked daily. Visually inspect the stress areas of the tool for nicks and scratches because they reduce the fatigue life of the tool. Also check the lance at the front of the tool. This lance should not be bent. Inspect the threads on the coupling nut for damage. Any part of the tool that has been burned from cross-facing must be returned to AMP for repair. For operator safety, AMP has designed into the AMPAC tool a failsafe. To inspect for a broken failsafe, both the pin and set screw must align with the white painted slot on the threads. All three must be in alignment to assure an unbroken failsafe. If they do not align, the failsafe is broken. This cutaway illustration will help to better explain how the failsafe is designed to fail before any other part of the tool. If the precision ground groove should fail, it will be captured in the tapered coupling nut. If you suspect that the failsafe is broken, first, remove the power unit from the head. While holding the coupling and coupling nut pushed together, attempt to rotate the nut 360 degrees in either direction. If the coupling nut rotates, the failsafe has broken and the power unit must be returned to AMP for repair. Never use a tool with a broken failsafe. The ram should be checked for free movement. If the ram sticks, spray inside the breech using a good quality cleaning oil. Work the ram up and down until it moves freely. All AMPAC tools are designed to have a certain amount of play inside the coupling nut. This movement is required for the tool to be fired. Check for this condition by holding the breech and pushing in and out on the threaded coupling as shown. To clean the gas release knob, remove the retaining spring and remove the knob. With the cleaning tool positioned as shown, rotate the tool until the counter bore is clean. Turn the cleaning tool rod out as shown and remove any carbon deposits from the gas portholes. Clean the piercer pin base and check the length of the piercer pin using the gauge on the cleaning tool. A good pin length will not pass through the gauge. If the pin passes through the gauge, the gas release knob must be replaced. Using the cleaning tool inserted into the piercer pin guide as shown, clean the piercer pin guide and surrounding surface. Insert the cleaning tool into the breech cap sleeve and clean the recesses of any plastic or carbon deposits. Again, rotate the tool several times to assure proper cleaning. To clean the threads on the gas release knob and breech cap sleeve, use the thread cleaning portion of the cleaning tool as shown. Rotate the tool until the threads are clean. Spray the breech cap sleeve and gas release knob using a good quality cleaning oil. Reassemble the breech cap and replace the spring retaining clip Complete the cleaning procedure by replacing the breech cap assembly onto the power unit. This completes Module 2 of the AMPAC TAP system training program.